Hey, so how much you gonna play me, man? This is John Ruiz here, a AAA live TDLR license tow operator. Uh, here for uh, I was current was well I worked at Sand Dollar previously, but I was on strike, and I was all strike and all strike, and all that striking and stuff, and then you know trying to have to. Hold. I just didn't want to haul Sean's S2000 with So instead, I just took his truck and trailer and just moved on in a dirty kilo. <laughs> then his mom called me lazy. That ah, fucking bitch. I burned that fire, tore everything up. I got the biggest water bill in CD Corpus Christi you've ever seen. I busted in pipes for eight days. That's right. I fucked up that air conditioner. I stripped the wires up there in the attic. That brand new. I fucked everything up. That's right, bitch. Don't you ever call me. Lady. I don't like being called out. I got your car mechanic book here and a plumbing book, and uh, you'll be all set. It's an application. This is a big problem we have is when we ask people to fill out an application, they just hammer down on them, see how they're playing. Everything's done or it's fraudulent. And our problem is con artists. When people tell you they, they, they know your access to the code, but this guy, uh, John Ruiz, supposedly is his name is a tow truck driver. He was called to pick up a wrecked van taken to the corner of Exxon Thomas Henry. And then he promoted for work, you know, I asked him for a favor, was to pick up a car for me. He's always gonna do it. Give me, he wanted, a, you know, just high prices, the highest. He's always saying, what you gonna pay me? This is a brand new $768 dishwasher delivered by Lowe's. Straight here at seven in the morning. He put it in and it's no good because it's not, you know, it falls out and it's broken the tiles and, uh, might have bad wiring, but he said that the uh, hardware was lost. But let me ask you guys, these are some, uh, you know, inspectors, reserve potential employees. But so he changed the dishwasher here too. Our first maintenance man, this guy, the guy living here was a contractor, and he was very, uh, he basically just didn't want to open the door. So he demanded Joey Garza be here right at nine o'clock. Then he was 15 minutes late. But let me ask you guys, can you change this? If you were here on time at nine and 15 minutes, that's what you required. Had to be working at 30, that seems like that's impossible, right? Okay, so our maintenance guy never showed up on time, but he was here at 9.15. But they got in a fight. The particular contractor had five dogs, and still didn't want to let anybody in. But does that look like does that look like a proper wiring job or a professional job? Yeah. So what I discovered about this guy, what he what he did is he he created a lot of work. He would Run up a, and he knows that I've had my life savings uh, stolen from me, and that's why I hit him up. I wanted to pick up a car, but then he would tell me that he would do things, but never would. And so then, like when he owed me a lot of money, you know, he would want to work it off. He'd say, "What are you going to pay me for this?" And so I said, "You know how to put this in?" He, he said, "Was an expert at everything," but I think that's just not very good. <laughs> now I think this wiring is that legal? Is that? I mean, it's okay, but okay. So he was given uh, seventy dollars credit or fifty dollars credit for this, but you know, he, he would do things very quick, is what I noticed. And he liked to cut wires. Everything he did, like when he did the airbag removals, he cut the wires, he ruined the parts. He never finishes the job, but I'd say that this. I mean, I know that's not that doesn't look very professional, does it? <laughs> but the wiring, yeah, that's what I thought. John Ruiz was called out uh, back at me spring of this year 2022 when my mom had a deer they called triple a and got it here in town called triple a again and uh, i called triple a sand dollar uh he worked for sand dollar at that time came out and instead of towing the car he called me up i believe against the rules you know he he, didn't, he, he was trying to always go outside of the system and create work but he was basically he's a con man and a grifter but he uses his uh tow you know his his theoretical knowledge of being a mechanic. He's the worst mechanic in the world. He ruined my brakes, but he ended up doing about $100,000 worth of damage to my mom's properties. The guy was a grifter, a con man. He's just a, a freeloader. I gave that guy everything he could possibly do. He stole my TV, my furniture, destroyed everything. So if you're a tow truck company owner uh, in the state of Texas, I don't know his license number, I'd like to uh, get him banned from being a, I like to have his license pulled because he, he takes advantage of people, old people like my mom and stuff. And by using his job there is what he did. And uh, so let's all get together to get this guy kicked out of the TDLR. But 